Right, welcome back for another video. We've got the brand new 2021 BMW S1000R. Smash that subscribe button. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Okay guys and girls, I've really been looking forward to this one today. This is the BMW um, S1000R, it's a brand new model for 2021. Uh, it takes its heritage from the uh, superbike that is the S1000RR. They've basically stripped it down, made it lightweight, they've uh, upped the torque and they're giving it some real sort of street application. Right, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look at some of the styling uh, of the S1000R right now. So the first thing I want to point out is the S1000R Sport, which is this model we're looking at right now, it does come, and it, I believe it's the only model to come with this paint job, it's got like a sort of grey, tinty blue uh, metallic paint job, and it looks really nice and really finished well. Uh, looking at the back of the sort of seat and the way that it tails up there, gives a really lovely sort of sporty look to this bike. I really like that with a thin seat. You can tell they've taken it straight from the S1000 double R. Right, okay, moving on to the front of the bike. The first thing I've noticed, and it, you know, it is a street naked, so you can't uh, say anything else, is that there is no fly screen, no fly screen whatsoever. And if you take a close look, if you can see that there, there's loads of insects or blood and guts stuck to that. Yeah, so straight down, we're looking at all around LED lights, which come as standard on all models. Uh, you can have adaptive headlights that come as optional. I think they're actually part of this model, what we're looking at now, which is the Sport R. Uh, or LED indicators, which look, kind of look a bit blacked out to me there. Finish the sort of model off really well. Uh, we've got 45 millimeter upside down front forks with the spring uh, preload adjust and a rebound. Looking pretty cool. Uh, quick look at the wheels. We've got cast aluminium wheels. Uh, looking sharp, we've got the Dunlop 120-70-17s and they've got the 320mm BMW branded brakes straight from the brand new uh, RR So it does come with ABS as a standard uh, This bike is a 999cc 4 cylinder, 4 stroke, water cooled, oil cooled beast that's got 165 horsepower uh, at 11,000 RPM. Uh, the torque's been pushed up on this. It's got 114 newton meters of torque, and it's the same engine straight from the RR that's been powered down, so it'll deliver less horsepower and more street torque, which is more what we need these days. You don't need 200 brake horsepower on the roads if you can't even hold on, really. You know what I mean? Right, okay, so the BMW S1000R does have a 16.5 litre fuel tank. Let's have a good look around this. Uh, quite liking the sort of plastic sides on this. This looks good. Nice and styly. Uh, we've got 813 millimeter seat height, which you can get um, optional uh, high seat or low seat, depending on uh, sort of your height and how you feel sat on the bike. Got a 6.5 inch TFT with uh, three rider modes, which we'll go through shortly. It's got rain mode, um, road mode, and dynamic mode. Full BMW phone connectivity with the BMW motor app. Ah, let's turn it on, let's have a look at it. I don't know if you'll see this. Yeah, it's very easy to see, but not with this camera. Uh, I can say that all the information on here is uh, very visible, easy to read. There's none of the text on here is small. I'm uh, really loving the TFT on this. It looks sporty, it looks aggressive, it looks great. So while we're still looking at the front of the bike here, I just want to point out 
uh, to other manufacturers that everything's on hand here you've got heated grips which is just at the touch of the button there you know it's not hidden away in the dash under a million options we do have the mode button which is uh, fairly easy to touch as well with your thumb dead easy to get to and that's what we're really loving on these bikes uh, right okay this does come with cruise control we've got the cruise, cruise control buttons up here we've got the headlight beam up and down and uh, we've got the adjust preload for the back so if you've got a pillion a passenger on the back just take that and uh, it will harden the suspension up for you obviously we've got the bmw um roller here which people love some people love some people hate we'll have a go at that when we're out having a ride in a bit horn oh i'm gonna have to turn it on for horn let's check the horn out i always like to have a listen to it on <laughs> Tell you what, that's how loud, really, really loud on. Right, here's a quick look at the back of the bike. I really love how it sort of tapers off in that sport, uh, sport edge. Uh, you can tell it comes from the S1000 double R. Really loving that. Right, okay, so what we need to talk about here, and that is there's no backlight here because the backlight is in with these indicators. Now, I can't turn it on and show you because it flickers at the same rate as this GoPro takes the picture. But basically, this is the backlight and the indicators all in one. Not too sure about that. I'm not sure how you feel. Uh, it does have quick shifter. We do have a quick shifter on this model. And uh, we're going to check that out when we're riding round. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fire the engine up. We're going to have a listen to the exhaust uh, because we all want to hear it. And this does have the stock exhaust on it. It doesn't have the Acropovic on it. It looks smart. looks good. Let's check it out. Right, okay, excuse me for the short video today. It's so hot out here. Like, I literally just, I'm boiling away in this sun. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, for the fun bit, we'll take it out for a ride. See if we can get some air into us. First thing we wanna do is uh, sit on it, see how we feel on it. Don't forget, this is a first look, a first ride of the S1000R for me today. So, First of all, straight off the bat, I'm slightly on my tiptoes, my foot art sort of flat, fully on the floor. I'm just slightly raised on my tiptoes, but it's quite a good stability there on both feet. Both feet are exactly the same. Um, the, the handlebars are really sort of tucked over, and that's exactly what I'd expect from a super sport sort of bike, but I'm really liking that angle. I can't hang around, I need to get off, it's so hot today. Let's get it started. We'll talk while we're riding. So this red bar, just in case you're wondering, as the bike heats up, that red bar will disappear so you can rev it further up into range. <laughs> Sounds so good. Right, don't forget we do have a quick shifter on this, so... We're going to be giving that a blast out, see how smooth it is as well. Right, okay, so uh, we're going to take her out for a spin now, get some wind on us and cool us down a little bit. One of the things that I have noticed on this bike is it's very, it's very touchy on the throttle. I mean, it, the uh, feeling here is great. Yeah, it's absolutely great on torque and power. Really loving this sort of postural position on this as well. I'm, I, I'm sat forward onto my wrist. My knees are sort of crunched up under the tank. I can really sort of grip that tank. I'll put the camera down a little bit. I can really grip that tank really well. I bet this is amazing round corners. It's so lightweight. Oh my God, I can just feel the torque in this bike. It hasn't had its first service yet, so it's not on full power. We are on road mode at the moment, which I can play with that. I can stick that into sport mode. We're in road mode there, dynamic. Rain mode, road mode, dynamic. Let's try dynamic. So we are in fifth gear, stuck behind a little bit of traffic now as well. 
but um, really sort of loving the posture on this. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, I'm a bigger guy, so I sort of find that the smaller bike, I can't really sit on them very well. But this is a really sort of thin bike to look at. Uh, but the, you've got some good wide handlebars on it, you know, I actually feel quite comfortable. And uh, really sort of enjoying it. You've got to get tucked into it a little bit. Sort of pull yourself forward, shove your bum back. Get your knees all scrunched up into the tank. Yeah, that's a good... Right, let's try this auto blipper out. You've got to be in the right rev range for it. We're in fourth at the moment. Let's drop it down a gear. Not working. Maybe we've got to go a bit further down. There we are. So we've got to be about 2,000 revs for it to drop down into third. Go back up one. Fourth. Yeah, quick shift is nice and smooth going up. We have borrowed this bike today from BMW Motorrad in uh, Rochdale. So thank you to BMW Motorrad uh, for loaning me the bike today. Uh, this is a first look, first ride for me. Uh, I haven't really spent much time with these S1000Rs before. So really looking forward to taking this out on a good blast. Really loving the postural position on this. This is really, really nice. Uh, my feet are sort of tucked up quite a lot and quite in, but not like a super sport, you know. It just feels like an angry bike with plenty of torque, which is what we need for the street these days. So we're in a little bit of uh, traffic now. I hope to test it at slower speeds because in an urban bike, if it ain't good at fueling at slower speeds, we haven't tested it yet, but I want to test it. And then what we want to do is want to uh, open it up a little bit and uh, really test it around some corners. Look at that. So this display, this display is very readable. It's very bright today. There's no reflection on there. I can see everything clean clear and it's all readable and i wouldn't expect anything less from a smart sort of tft these days you know the reservoir's lovely it's nice and blacked out it sort of suits the sort of styling in the front of the bike it does have a keyless start that's just a button there as long as you've got the key in your pocket you're within uh, i don't know a couple of feet it's just a keyless start just hit the button and uh, off you go where are we going here? Let's go left. Straight across at the roundabout. Cheers, mate. Nice, really. Torque, really. Twitchy. Full of power. Something that you'd sort of expect from the S1000. Uh, lineage of super bikes. I am a big dude and I really need the torque to sort of pull my ass along. Uh, one of the things that um, I always look for as well in a street bike is plenty of places to be able to hook your phone onto. If you can't put your phone on then uh, it's not great but this has got plenty of places. I'm sort of thinking there might be an aftermarket uh, pivot phone holder for that there, that would look good. If there isn't one yet somebody needs to make it. I think what we're going to do, follow this road, try and turn around and come back this way. I'm not actually sure where we are, a little bit lost at the moment. Let's try and get it into neutral. Dead easy to put into neutral, which is what I love. Stick it into first. <laughs> I'm not used to that throttle. Oh, there's plenty of throttle in this bike, honestly. I'm going to go back right round about and we're going to head that the other way. All round. Feels good round the roundabout. 
Yeah, no twitching at all there from back end. Let's pull it in. Turn left. Yeah, really nice, sort of stable, easy, agile bike. Knock it down into second. Do you know what? I haven't really used the quick shifter much on this. We need to test it out up here. So we're in second now. Third. You've got to get it in the right sort of rev range for it to quick shift to it to kick in, I believe. God, it's full of power, this bike. Sounds awesome. Uh, you can get an optional Acropovic on this. And I bet that just sounds the actual bomb on this bike. Because it sounds good as it is. It's a nice, smooth sort of engine on it, you know. And it needs that Acropovic, I think, just to give it a little roar. Sort of missing that roar on that stock exhaust. Uh, right, while we're going steady, let's take a look at these wind mirrors because these wind mirrors, and same as every other wind mirror on a street naked, the shite. I'm not gonna lie, not very good at all. Can barely see past my elbows. And uh, if you've got any wits about you, you might want to swap them out, get some uh, extensions on there, get some engine extensions on so I can go further out past your elbows. Or if you've got more brains than that, probably stick some bar end mirrors on the end of here and then. Uh, to look good as well in second. I think I came up here. Let's turn right, brother him, yeah. Shaking to third on quick shifter. Nice and smooth. Lovely bike to ride. I think if you take your time to sort of get comfy and sort of pull yourself in a little bit and grab hold of that tank with your knees, shove your bum back, get your head down, it's that sporty sort of naked street uh, feel is, is really, really good. And because it's sort of leaning forward as well, you'd think that I'd have a lot of pressure on my arms, on my, uh, on my wrist, but I tell you what, I ain't got any pressure at all on my wrist. You know, because the, the uh, bike's quite short. All the pressure, I think, is sort of on my bum still, instead of rather on my uh, on my wrist, even though I am sort of sat forward and down. Into fourth. Yeah, really, really, really loving this bike. We're in a little bit of traffic now, we're sort of doing 20 odd mile an hour. No fueling problems at all. It's got a little ticking noise to that engine, like a brrrr. I'm not too sure about that, I don't know if I really like that. I'm sure that's just a BMW noise. And uh, if you put a better exhaust on that, I'll probably cancel that out. So much sort of lovely torque on this bike, you just want to play all the time. You don't even have to drop gear, you just wind it back and it just wants to go. We are heading sort of back towards Rotherham now because I do need to take it back. I spent most of my time trying to video it, but the heat today is so sweltering. So hot. Right, okay, we're on to National. Uh, 60 mile an hour, I believe, on these roads. See if I can get an overtaking. Can't really see very well. I've got a thick black line, so I can't do that legally. So, back to the handlebars while we're taking it steady. Um, the sort of clutch lever is in a good position, actually. I can nicely just stick my two fingers over as you do when you're sport riding. Uh, I've got a good grip then with me uh, other fingers on the handlebars. We're now in six, cars just over to up. And uh, yeah, it feels really great. 
the suspension's not too soft feels nice and firm tell you what we're gonna do with this we're still in six bear in mind i ain't down geared i just pulled the throttle back straight away more than enough power to overtake oh the lovely fresh air from this nice to cool down now i'm not gonna lie this is a really fun bike Right, we're going down to 50 mile an hour here, so let's slow down a little bit. Yeah, 50. I didn't once then down gear at all. Everything we've done there was still in six. And it's had so much torque that... Just overtake, no problem. It takes these corners so well and beautifully, sort of... Uh, swift around it, it's so well balanced and the weight on this machine is I, I don't really have a word for it, it's just well a well weighted and balanced machine you know really really loving this bike right I'll tell you what we're gonna do and there's nothing coming this way now gonna try it going back up it does have a tighter turning circle look at that oh yes no problem turning around there at all indicator off still in the 50 zone straight up to 50 yeah it's well planted into the floor Take your hand off that handlebar and sort of sit back a little bit. No problem, so much confidence. And it's fun. This is what it's all about, fun. So I'm not a professional rider, obviously. I started this YouTube channel because I love bikes. I love having fun on bikes. And when we make these videos, I'm not all about figures and numbers, I'm all about, is this bike fun? That's what I'm all about. And I tell you what, this bike, the whole package is fun. It's, 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 it's a lovely bike to ride. I'm in fifth gear now. Get past them moles. Six thousand uh, RPM there. Just watch this car, don't want him pulling across. So nice to ride, honestly. Fifth gear there, just pull it back. Off it goes like a rocket. Pow! I'll tell you what, the more I ride it, the more comfier I feel in it as well. I think sort of, uh, I'm finding my position on this bike a lot better now. Yeah, the uh, sort of 80 mile an hour. Well, I wasn't doing 80 mile an hour, but uh, on a motorway, I don't know what the wind buffeting would be like. So we've not tried it on a motorway, but uh, just going up and down there, I had no issues at all. Let's just go down this lane here. Just want to sort of test this turning circle out a little bit more. Right, so we're in first gear. There's nothing coming. Oh god, it's so easy to turn. Let's go around again without dropping it. Oh yeah, really, really great turning circle. Right, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to BMW Motorrad. In the Rotherham, room, we're going to thank him for an awesome test ride on this S1000R. And uh, let's wait for these cars to go past. beats me why I'm not using quick shifter but I'm just going I'm just riding however I want oh, man it's such a great bike to ride I urge you I urge anybody anybody looking to update their bike this year who's not behind us 
Uh, anybody who's looking to update their bike this year, please, please, please just go. If you're looking for a street bike, go and test ride the BMW S1000R. And if you're anywhere near sort of Yorkshire, uh, get up to BMW Motor Rad in Rochdale, in, sorry, in Rotherham. And uh, have a sit down, have a chat with them. And they'll let you out on it, no problem. And it's such a... Oh yeah, I love it. Such an awesome bike.